Hello, welcome back to the woods. Now one of these, some of you might recognise, this is a, a tri-stick, as advocated by the late great Moors Kahansky, and it's a brilliant little project that you can do out in the woods on a day like today, out on a little walk. And what it does is it, it takes you through all of the different cuts and knife manoeuvres that you're going to use in bushcraft, and it's a brilliant, brilliant thing like an awful lot of the stuff that Moore's <coughs> put together and that's kind of what I want to talk about today now we lost Moore's three years ago now but he left behind an amazing body of work his book bushcraft formerly northern bushcraft his little pamphlets that he did some amazing amazing work and it's stuff well, that goes down in legend within the bushcraft community and the tri-stick is just one. You've got the Roycroft pack frame, you've got snowshoes, you've got the super shelter. All of these things that Moore's made famous, Moore's developed and he gave to us in the bushcraft world. Now, Moore's was taken from us way too early. He got a very aggressive form of cancer. And cancer, well, it's something that affects all of us. I lost my mum a couple of years ago to that very, very thing. Statistics reckon that one in two of us, yep, yeah, half of us, will be affected by cancer in our lifetimes. And that is a very, very frightening statistic. And it's something that, well, as bushcrafters, is there anything we can do? So those of you who've been with the channel a while will remember that December last year on the anniversary of Moors Kahansky's uh, passing a load of us met up in the woods and we raised a load of money which we donated uh, through the Bushcraft Against Cancer Just Giving page towards cancer research and it wasn't just me and a few others down in Kent in England there were people all over. We all went out in the woods and we did something to celebrate the life and the work of the great Moors Kahansky. And at the same time, we raised a load of money towards cancer research. So that hopefully one day, who knows, they might find a cure. So it wasn't just us down in Kent. All sorts of people got involved. Uh, Rob Evans Woodsman, who's got a, another channel over on YouTube, he did a, a really moving uh, camp out in the, in the woods where he told everyone about his experience of cancer. Simon the Bloke in the Woods, he did a, a great sleep out on his own in a Moors styley. 
Indeed, there were guys all over, some of the different bushcraft groups, um, Sussex bushcraft group, etc. They set up their weekend for that weekend. There were even guys over in Canada that worked with Moors who also did the same thing. Everybody got involved, everybody donated uh, some money to uh, cancer research through the, the Bushcraft Against Cancer page and it was an absolutely fabulous weekend where we all came together and we all did something really good. Now there were some people that contacted me after the event and said they would have loved to have been involved however they had other stuff on and they asked would we be doing it again this year well the answer is yes we certainly are on the weekend of the 3rd and 4th of December we are holding down in Kent another Moors Kansky Memorial Sleepout where you can come along on the Saturday we are going to run a few classes and workshops for people to, to come along and have a go at on the Sunday we're going to set up a trade blanket so that people can bring stuff along that they've made uh, and they can either trade it or sell it etc I'll leave that up to people on the actual day if you contact me at the email address that's going to come up on the screen any moment um, I will send you the details over of, of where when how much all of those sorts of things everything that we make on it goes towards the uh, bushcraft against cancer um, just giving page which will all go to cancer research now I know what you're thinking yeah but I don't live in Kent how can I get involved well you can get involved and that is the whole point if you've got a few mates and you've got a spot that you go to get them together on that weekend make it a day in your diaries and go out and do something last year we all slept out in super shelters you could do the same or you could just go out and get a brew on in the woods but light it maybe using feather sticks or you could do a sleep out but instead of taking a rucksack take a Roy Craft pack frame something to remember Moors by and if you do it then make a donation to that page all the details are in underneath and what we want to do is get as many people as possible involved in it again this year and raise as much money as possible I will do some updates as we go along but as I said, if you want details of what we're going to be doing or you just want a few ideas of what you could do with your mates out in the woods, drop me an email at that email address and I'll do my best to get back to you. It could even be you just get out there on your own, like I am today, out in the woods, get yourself a brew on the go, carve yourself up a tri-stick too. But most importantly, remember Moors and remember to make a donation to that Just Giving page. As I said, I'll put all the details down below. Now, if you enjoyed this video, then remember, give me a big thumbs up. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel. In the description box down below, you'll also find links to my other social media so Facebook Instagram all that good stuff there's also a link over there to my Etsy shop as well there's also some a few more details about the uh, Moors Memorial weekend I'll include that in the box down below as well and start doing it now start sorting it out now if you want to get involved call one of your mates email them text them whatever and start setting something up now if you're in the southeast of England and you want to come along to our one, I say email me over at the email address uh, that's uh, in the description box down below and I'll send you some details over. I think that's everything. I've been Neil and until next time, stay safe in the woods.